In this video, I will demonstrate how to take attendance in Zoom the fast, easy, and efficient way, and also the most reliable way, so that you can spend more time doing the things that matter and less time telling names. Now, these are the steps in achieving that. You'll go to zoom.us and sign into your account. Click report on the left and click usage on the right. Then ensure the date range at the top includes the meeting you want. And then click on participant. To export this information, as you see as check export with the meeting data box. And of course, then click export. You can open this file in Microsoft Excel. Now, let's go on to the demonstration. Okay, so go to zoom.us and sign in into your account. So this is my account. And then scroll down and click on reports on the left frame. And then usage on the right frame. So ensure the date range at the top it includes the meeting you want. So I was just set the date range. This is 2-10-2024 to 2-11-2024. You can set the date range here. Ensure that it consists of um, the meetings that you want. And then there's a toggle. With this toggle, you can actually select which field you want to see. So you want to see the meeting ID, you want to see the user name, user email, department, creation time, start time, end time, duration. So this is a toggle. Look at the meeting that you want and click on the participant. So here, there's a meeting that takes place here and there are 50 participants. There's a meeting that took place here and there are four participants. So locate the participant. All right, so this shows a list of the participants that were present at that meeting, showing the list of the participant and you'll be able to see all the attendees that attended the meetings when they joined the time that they joined and how long they were in the meeting so you can see all this the meeting participant report will show multiple instances of a participant if someone leaves and rejoins the meeting so you want to show each participant only once then you check the show unique users show unique users here as we have unique users being shown and then you can also click export with meeting data here so that the meeting id the duration the topic the start time all this information will be captured with the data so it's essential that you check these two boxes and then you can export this data now to export this information as a csv file just click on export and it will download as a .csv file. You can open this file with Microsoft Excel. All right, this is for those facilitators using the free version of Zoom. The report function is not available for you. And if you're using this free version, you can take attendance in several practical ways despite the limitations compared to the paid version. However, there are some methods to do this, but we're going to look at one of them that can seamlessly do this for you, and that is to manually check the attendance during the meeting. This is the simplest method, and it is to check who is present during the meeting. This can be done by visually scanning the participants list and taking a screenshot so when you take a screenshot this is what um, you will see um, the total number of participants is going to be shown here and the facilitator's name is going to be here and so what you need to do is just take this screenshot just one page is fine and it's important for facilitators to communicate clearly with their learners how attendance will be taken and you need to ensure that everyone knows what to expect and not to mark their presence during virtual classes. 
They also need to verify that learners name uh, rename their devices as their names. Now, attendance reports are available approximately an hour after the meeting has ended. Thank you for watching.